There we go. First hound of the year for me. That's not a bad hound from Chesil Beach. That's a good size. I'm not even going to try and weigh it. I haven't got scales with me, but I tell you exactly how big it is from here to here. <laughs> oh, I'm well happy with that. Right, she's unhooked, and we're going to get her back in. So we've had one nice hound already. I really want to try and get one on the carp rod today. That's uh, my squid today are really big, so that's just two squid heads there, sort of top to tail. That's on an up and over rig. There's a, a 2-0 mustard viking on the bottom and a circle hook 2-0 on the top. And just three and a half ounces of lead with a fixed wires. Uh, just small lead, so obviously it's only a carb rod. Okay, another carp rod going out. It's an up and over rig. Four ounces of lead and just a small single sand eel. Whack it out. So here's a new one for me as bait. I've never tried this before. It's a scallop row. So I've got a few with me today. Uh, there's a whole prawn on there with a scallop row piggybacked, lashed on his back there. So uh, that's on an up and over rig as well. So we'll whack it out. I reckon they're going to like those. a hound. <laughs> there we are. Never hound, that's why I didn't feel like one. Lassoed it. Which is a shame, but so that was the scallop row it went for. Oh, okay, foul hooked, but I'll take it anyway. <laughs> Let's get her back. Because unfortunately that bait wasn't even in that hound's mouth. The bait was actually pretty much untouched. So uh, I'm just going to put another half of scallop row on there and whack it back out again. I'm not showing you any dogfish today. I've had three so far. There we are. Who's going to turn that down? Ready to lasso another one. There we go. I like just smaller baits really for hounds. I don't hate massive baits. You don't really need much. I've caught them in the past on little tiny little prawn baits I've put out for bream. It's amazing what they can find. What do you think with that scallop, bro? It isn't half sticky on your hands.
Don't want them. Carp rod going back out again. I'm just going to put a tiny, that's just straight scallop on there. It's just a single scallop on a size two hook on a pulley rig. That's on the carp rod. I can't tell you how badly I want to smooth out on this carp rod. Hello everyone. It's bank holiday Monday, the 6th of May today. And despite saying I was going to go somewhere else, I found myself back on good old Chesil Beach. Little Pebbles again. We're at Abbotsbury today. So I got here at 4 o'clock this morning. First cast before the bivvy went up and everything else. We went to a smooth hound. This is very nice. We've had a few dogfish and a little baby conger eel since then. There's a few fish about. It's seven o'clock in the morning at the moment, top of uh, top of the tide. I was at seven. We hope, hopefully today we're going to fish it back down to low and back up more or less to high water tonight. We'll see how bait lasts, how I lasts, and how the weather lasts. So I was hoping for a hound today. So we sort of we got that already. First cast, job done, out the way. But what I really like is a smooth hound on the carp rod. That is what I want today. So uh, we're fishing three rods today. It's lovely calm weather forecast all day today and for the next few days, I think. So uh, the tides are quite big though. And there's a bit of swell out there, but even so it's perfect conditions once again for using carp rods on Chesil Beach. So I've brought two of them today. I've got two carp rods and my one beach rod. Chance of an early bream as well, that would be cool. Baits today, I have some, uh, you might have seen already, scallop row we've been using. I've got some sand eel, I've got prawn, I've got squid, I've got a bit of sardine, I've got a little bit of bluey, and I've got a wrapped up pack of bait that I froze down a couple of months back after a session, and I cannot remember for the life of me what's in there. I think there's probably, there might be some frozen ragworm in there, there might be a bit of black lug, and I don't, I don't know what the hell else is gonna be in there. The sea today, I don't know if pick it up on there, there's like, for a good few hundred yards out, there's a layer of foam on the water. And the sea is not overly clear. It's not murky as such, but it's not really clear either. It's just sort of a, it has a haze to it. It's bank holiday Monday, so I'm expecting the beach to get very busy. There's already um, quite a large herd down by the car park. There's a lot of people down there, all in one big group. And there's a gentleman just down from me. He's got two rods. He looks like he's feathering for mackerel. I've messed up in my haste to leave. I've brought no snacks with me today. I have brought some food for a bit of a cook up. Uh, so we're going to have a brunch today, which is going to be sooner than later, I think. I'm absolutely starving already. And uh, I think at some point today, we're going to see some rain, even though it's quite sunny looking at the moment. I think, uh, I think we're probably going to get some rain at some point. Ah, there's another one. That was on scallop and prawn. She unhooks herself, so. Let's get her straight back. A 
going on the carp road. Yeah. Left on carp road there. Only a tiddler, but that was on the carp rod. <laughs> oh god, that went all right. Size of that, nothing to it. Tiny, what's left of that? Little, it's just straight prawn. That prawn on a 2 0. Ah. It's only a couple of pounds, but great fun on the carp rod. Brilliant. Let's get it back. There's a sand eel and scallop bait going out next. Let's give that a try. It's about an hour and a half after high water. It's gone a little quiet now, actually. I think it's time for, uh, for something to eat. Boil up some potatoes. I have some onions here that I've just fried off. I'm going to add those in. Diced up corned beef. Some chives and parsley from my garden. Yeah, we're not going to get a Michelin star with our hash today, I'll, I'll admit that. It's not the idea today though. I'm blinking starving. If you look down the beach there, you can see in the distance, there's a gentleman sat on the beach. Not too long ago, he came sprinting up the beach. After I sat here and watched him have a tussle with what looked like a really nice hound. And it was. And when he landed it, bless him, I don't think he had a camera or a phone or anything with him. So he came sprinting up the beach with it <laughs> and asked me if, I could, if I'd take a photo for him, which I obviously have done. He said he watches the, the, the channel as well, bless him. So uh, his name's Paul. I'll stick a couple of pics up now. Very nice to meet you, Paul. We reckoned I don't carry scales with me anymore. So uh, when he came running up, I said, you're going to ask me for scales, aren't you? And he said, no, I just want a picture. So uh, anyway, here's Paul Smoothhound. We reckon, we reckon it's a double, but uh, it had a big old belly on it. <laughs> it gave him a right old game getting him with that bit of a swell as well. So uh, well done, Paul, for getting him in. When he came over there, I said, oh, I had one about that big this morning. But looking back at the pictures, his was bigger, definitely. So uh, yeah, well done, Paul, mate. I've got a blinking bite right in the middle of my hash. Yeah, it's on there. Well, there's another species. Whoa, I really cheesed off bull hus. <laughs> oh, God. I haven't had one of these for a while. Oh, God's sake. I'm trying to straighten him out. Hang on. Mate. He's not happy. <laughs> oh, God, look at that. 
There we go. That was on anchovy and squid on the carp rod. Believe it or not, what a tussle. <laughs> oh God. Nice to see. Cheers, mate. Oh. God, look at that. Top panel look, just got him in the lip there, in the corner. Quite often these hang on, don't they? And then they let go last minute, but fortunately he was him. There we are. God, what a beautiful thing. Strong, beautiful thing. Ah, oh, come on, mate. Let's show you off one last time. Ah, look at that. What a beauty. Let's get him back. He went back a tree. What a gentle little bite on that. Very gentle. I just thought it was a doggy. All right, I'm not casting out yet. I'm going to finish my, finish my hash. I didn't get that one coming in at all. Just walked over to the rods and it started pulling down. I had to grab it straight away. There we go. Loads of crabs out there at the moment. I'll show you what this took now. Literally just a bit of elastic left on there. That's it. Obviously something might have fallen off during the scrap, but so that's number five. Let's get it back. Kick in. It went a bit quiet. I just had that bull hus and then uh, there hasn't been a bit of a uh, bit of action since then. But uh, it's funny, as soon as the rod started dipping over and the start tide started to pull again, the hound came along. It's a big swell out there now. I don't know if you can see in the back, but listen to this. Well, I did not imagine this today. Bank holiday Monday, weather's pretty nice, and there's not many people down here at all. There's no one, no one towards the teeth of that direction. Nobody at all, I'm the last one on the beach. Down there, there's just a chap who had the hound earlier, and another chap next to him, and then Camp Tenko down by the car park. So the count so far, we got five smooth hounds. Um, had about four or five dogfish maybe. A one bull hus and a tiny little eel. I'm quite happy with that. 
I'm not sure if bait will last until uh, high water again, but we'll at least see it down to low water and start the flood and then uh, assess it from there. There is supposed to be rain coming in, so it depends whether that happens and uh, how heavy it is. Well, it's only a small one, but again, that was on the carp rod. I don't know if you managed to catch the noise of the bait runner peeling off them, but she really went. <laughs> uh, there we go. Number six. There we go. Tiny little bait again. Let's get it back. Yeah, last ones are out, so uh, we're gonna give them a little soak. For... Oh, hello, hello. Couldn't make that up, could you? Literally just doing my outro. Just about to say I'm going to give these five minutes, and uh, well, you saw for yourself, I think the uh, the old bait runner went flying, and uh, we got this little beauty. She's not big, and another one on the carp rod. That's three on the carp rod now, and this is a total of seven smooth hounds, I think. I'll have to double check that. I think it's six or seven. Seven, I think. Yeah, number seven. Beautiful. What a day, I've loved it. Oh my God, it's been brilliant. Let me get this unhooked. Lovely starry. Brilliant, aren't they? <laughs> Kicking fish. Right, we get her back. God. It's just gonna start to rain now, so I'll get this done. <laughs> Right, thank you very much for watching. Last one, maybe we get a last chance saloon. I don't know, we'll see on that now. But uh, I haven't said this for ages, but if you enjoyed the vid, please like and subscribe because it does help me along. And I really, really appreciate everyone who comments. I always try and reply to every single one of them. If I haven't, I'm very sorry, but I do try and reply to everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Very much appreciate it. Get yourself down to Cheslin and have a go on some of these smooth arms. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers all. Bye-bye. Come on, I want to go home.